Hey guys, Bass from uh, X Force again. Now, today I'm bringing you a very new blaster. Well, they've been around for a while in the way of parts and stuff, but the SLR has finally uh, arrived now in a CQB style. So, um, they also come in two colors. I'm going to show you both colors only because. Um, I'm not normally a big fan of tan stuff. I know some of you guys are, but I kind of like my black. Right? So, I'm going to run with the black one, but I will show you guys the tan, just because I'm actually really, really liking the tan in this, uh, in this situation. So, your black, very straight up black. So the only thing is your tip that's uh, not black, which... Again, it's a reverse thread. It's an SLR uh, flash hider, which is kind of cool. Um, and everything's SLR written on and very nice. Now, just to uh, give you guys a show of the tan one, so you can see where I'm coming from. Again, now, very nice boxes. Look at that, all with the gold writing and stuff. Very pretty. And very well packaged, I must say. Uh, these guys do seem to just go that little bit above and beyond. Alright, so this is the tan version. Now, as you can see, this one's got no orange bit, that's all blacked out. So, very nice. So, for those that are keen, let me just add the mag. Kind of see what uh, which one you guys prefer, black or tan. I still like black, but I'm really uh, kind of uh, enjoying and really liking this uh, tan one. I don't know, it's just doing it for me this time. Uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep going with the black just because I kind of got that one sort of open and going. They're very nice, very nice indeed. All there, you've got a lot of little accessories that come with it. Very beautiful blaster, I gotta say. I'm a bit excited about these ones, even though I know at the moment there's quite a few CQB sort of style blasters, and um, the ARP9 have sort of made their mark. This just has those couple of little bits in a way of build quality compared to an ARP9. Uh, ARP9 is very solid. Um, the SLR, I don't know if it's as, as solid as the ARP9, it just feels a lot more heavy for the, for, the, for the size. But this just has a couple of things. Firstly, mag. You're running a 5.56, uh, you can run any mag in this thing apparently. I'm told it'll take just about anything. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick test because if it takes a J9, then it'll take anything. There you go, J9. Now if it takes a J9, that's definitely a Gen 8 style mag. It'll take Gen 8, it'll take J9, it'll take anything and everything. <laughs> I'm not going to name, say what it is, but yeah. Um, so that's really nice. Now the mag's also got the little windows on the side so you can see how many uh, gels you've got. And then, I mean, where do I start? The, the receiver's quite nice, just that little bit, all these little bits and pieces on all this little sort of, uh, you know, writing and it just looks apart. The SLR stuff just does. Uh, it's got the little shorty uh, handguard, um, five and a half, I believe. Um, the flash hider is a reverse thread and you've got a metal inner barrel you've also got a metal outer barrel with this um, and I can't remember it's a 7.5 or a 7.4 inner on the diameter on the, on the barrel okay now um, believe that the charging handle also is metal and you can see there 
that's also got the SLR writing gold. It's actually quite nice. Now that um, I'm just going to whack in the, the battery. So it does have. So when you, let me just point that out. So extending the, the hand, the, the stock, you basically just press that button, okay? When you get to this point, then you gotta go both sides. So it's got the latch there, and that'll, you'll be able to take it out. All right, so that just comes out like so. Now, at the back of the buffer tube, it's got a cap. Now it's a threaded cap. Now it's nice, but I do find this sort of stuff annoying because if I'm in a hurry, I want to get the battery, it does slow me down. So you probably can leave it off uh, for this exercise, I might. Um, and it comes with an 11 volt. All right, so I'll put that in there. Put our stock back on. So you got to do the same thing, just press both buttons. That's all good in there. Now, as I was saying, prime mag. Um, so that's obviously a nice little feature. Your full auto, semi, and you're safe. Um, it's not ambidextrous. The other cool little thing, it's got the, the pistol grip here, it says Magpul on it. It's got all the little Moe and that, so it's a very nice quality pistol grip. Uh, the quality is right through. I mean, if you've got little SLRs right and old laser etched all over the place, it just looks apart. Now, the really cool thing also is this uh, stock. Um, at first, I wasn't really didn't really have much uh, clue as to what and how, but it's kind of like an arm brace stock. So, I mean, if you've got a really sm a small, if you've got a big fat forearm, uh, mine's a little bit fatter, but if you've got a nice skinny one, I think the idea is you could do this. All right, so, yeah. I don't know if that's the plan, but you can. Um, so you can easily, you know, wheel with one arm. It becomes more like a pistol then. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's just something that I uh, kind of seen. I thought that looks really cool. Don't know if you ever use it, but it's there. Um, now internally, obviously, it's going to run an SLR box. Um, I couldn't tell you too much about it. I think just nylon gears and all the rest. One point two spring uh, i believe um or 1.1 but i think it's a 1.2 um but nothing super internally that i know of um but all in all build quality is very nice um very solid you know well made um and if you're looking for a CQB blaster, well, it's right there. You don't have to build one. It's got everything you need. Uh, I'm sure you can probably do more internally, but uh, it's it's nice as it is. Um, now, also, I think that, yeah, don't quote me. I think that's metal as well. Um, and the buttons, so, your mag release, that's metal. Your fire select, um, the little buttons, charging handle, they're all metal. So very nice touches, great quality. Um, we're gonna go and test it out and see how it shoots and then we can really sort of uh, put it to its uh, test and see if it does uh, sort of come up to the level, say of the R ARP9. All right, let's go check it out. Hey guys, so back here at our range with the SLR CQB M4s. Um, 
Yeah, what I forgot to do previously is just run you through some of the things that you do get, uh, which I normally do, and I'm very sorry about that. So you do get your uh, it's a USB charger for 11 volts. I don't think that's a great idea. You actually get a packet of the gold milkies, which is nice. Glasses. And then you get this bag of little goodies here, which is uh, iron sights, your back and front, a small sort of uh, uh, foregrip, and uh, covers for your uh, for your handguard. Oops. So that's quite a that's quite a nice touch. You get a lot of few little extras and things. So very nice. I've got to say, uh, give a big plus for throwing in those. Yeah. Let's. Uh, see how it performs. I'm going to run it on some oranges. Now, i just got to point out the mag. Um, it's one of these ones where your, your bottom does slide out. Um, press that, slides out, and you can basically pull the whole, all the insides out and clean it quite easily. So, very nice touch. Also, have a look at the size of those uh, terminals. Like, it's, they're massive. So those springs shouldn't miss it. Um, it's one of these ones where the top you got to stick your um, nail in there, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I'm going to run some oranges through it. I like my oranges. I know some of you guys might like milkies and whatever. Uh, if the barrel is around that sort of 7.4, 7.5. I always go with the orange because it's just bigger and better. <laughs> uh, but that's just me. Alright, so let's give it a test. Shot shoot a couple of uh, singles and see me. Problem with my oranges. There we go. Now I've got to say we're we're hitting that orange dot quite consistently. It's the accuracy on this thing is actually really good. Um, Very nice indeed. Um, see how the actual performance one thing's for the shooting to go well another thing's FPS and everybody's keen on that okay so let's get a bit of an average here all right so let's have a look at them numbers it's given us an average around the 220, which is, yeah, so 215, 220. Okay, so that's not bad. Look, it need to remember, they do have a shorter barrel. Um, you wouldn't go and extend it by much, really, because there's not much in it. Um, range if you want to get a bit more range there is enough outer barrel there to put a hop up um, but uh, having that shorter barrel will decrease your FPS but 
if you're running it for CQB games, guys, it's not bad. Um, you can, like I said, you can certainly do a little bit more in there to probably pump it up around the 250, 260. That's going to give you a great blaster for CQB. And to be honest, um, it's, like I said, it's solid, well made, shooting well, accuracy is great. Um, so, yeah, I really can't, uh, can't bag it on anything. I, I do like it. Um, yeah, beautiful. Even the tan version. Like I said, I ain't into tan, but I really like that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps, and um, stay safe. I'll see you guys next time.